Well, what the f is this season going to be about then? All right, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be watching You Season 3, Episode 1. We're already on Season 3. Damn, that went by so quick. All right, so... Love is the one who killed Delilah. Okay, it turns out love is just as fucked up as, as Joey's. She was willing to go as far as killing Delilah to save their relationship. And also, love is also pregnant, so they're going to be having a baby. Okay, and Joe had to come to terms with being a father. He, I, he did not like the fact that love is a killer. He doesn't like that at all. But he's willing to continue to love love because he wants to be a good father. It's something he never had. So it's like, okay, okay. Now, at the end of the episode, he saw a new girl. He saw his neighbor. And he's in love with his neighbor, I guess. And he's like, hey, you. So I'm guessing now he's going to be going after his neighbor while dating love. But he's not really in love with love anymore. And it's she's probably going to catch him or something like that. Being like, what the fuck are you doing talking to the neighbor? Like, she'll probably see him talking to the neighbor, like, once and be like, oh, okay, whatever, just talking to the neighbor. And then she'll see, it, like, them talking again and again. And then she'll be like, well, they're talking a lot. And, you know, and she'll, like, spy on them, probably watch them talk when they think they're talking in private. But she'll be watching and spying on them. And then, I don't know, they might get into me. And then if that happens, Love will definitely kill the neighbor. So, I don't know. And then Love will, have, Love will find out Joe's not actually in love with Love. He's just doing it to try and be a good father so that's my guess for the season I i'm probably completely wrong but i'm excited to find out so i'm gonna stop wasting time we're just gonna hop right into this episode if you'd like to watch the full length reaction that'll be available on patreon as well early access to the next two episodes of you will also be available on patreon and youtube membership click the join button down below so anyways let's get started a perfect match a soulmate i can do anything i've had my heart broken but all that felt worth it when I met love. I loved her. I, I loved the uh, past tense. I was wrong <gasps> about love. And by then, it was too late. We can be together now. Oh, I don't think we can. <laughs> and then I realized who I really need to protect mm -hmm. our daughter. I moved to some soulless, wealthy suburb outside San Francisco for her. Mm -hmm. I'd marry the monster for her. I'd lock myself into <sighs> this prison. Yeah, he does not like love anymore. He is not in love with her anymore. There's one part of the old me I can't quite shake. That the right person is out there for me. To wonder what happens after boy gets girl. Because we know. You can't get there, Joe. Happily ever after. Fade mm. to black. Roll. I feel like if Joe, Joe finds his soulmate and lives happily ever after, he's not going to be satisfied. Nothing's ever going to satisfy him. Oh. It's time to cut. <laughs> to protect my daughter. Congratulations, mm -hmm. Dad. It's a boy. <laughs> <laughs> Some boy. Does that change how you feel? Yeah, so season one, he was protecting Paco. Season two, he's protecting Ellie. Now he's protecting his own, his own baby. Henry. And does he have a middle name? 40. Quinn Goldberg. We were told it would be a girl. Why does he want a girl so bad? Like, what? Here, at least, our white picket purgatory feels logical. Oh, I thought that was fucking um, Nicolas Cage for a second. <laughs> I was like, that would be the most random shit. It looked like, for like, quick glance, it looked like him. But then I was like, no. We have everything. So he has everything. We wanted to get here all on our own. You compromise. It was never going to happen. You need her parents' money. You cannot afford a home in San Francisco working at a bookstore, making $12 an hour. I don't even know how you afforded to live in LA in the first place, so. Turns out, parenthood is Groundhog Day as... Joe. Yeah, I, that'd probably get really old really fast. It's incredible. The urge to protect. Feel it in my bones. I would do anything for him. Oh, I believe that. What I don't feel is connection. The more I try to bond, the more he cries. He knows we don't have it. No, what if it's someone else's kid? Like, uh, just a random dude they never showed us in season two. I, oh my god. That's why Joe can't, like, connect to the baby. 
in this particular circle of hell, but I've found willing buyers online. Okay, are we gonna have the cage in this season, or is that is that completely gone? There's nowhere for him to put it unless he gets another unit, but like, I feel like that's gonna be gone completely. Sherry, by the way. As in locally famous mom influencer Sherry Conrad. Gotta get coffee together, love. I'll share all my secrets. That tone. Warm with an undertone of peach level condescension. My job is to be a good husband so I can be a good father. Hey, Natalie. Hi. <laughs> oh, there, there, there she is. Bro, leave Natalie alone, dog. Leave her out of this. I mean, dude, if Love sees Joe looking at Natalie, the neighbor, Love is going to know immediately how Joe feels about her. Why does my own child not like me? You know, babies can tell when your heart's not in it, Joe. Oof. I... Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Love's right. My heart's not really in it. How could it be when you stole it? <laughs> Love! It's gonna go follow her. We're running low on diapers, so I'll be right back. Mm. The green light. Mm. She, she, she not. She see you. Yeah, it's just oh. knowing oh, you shit. feel the same as I do. Fuck. Hello, neighbor. The fuck? No, this is not sad. This is not sad. This is not sad. He's just he's jerking off right now, bro. He's he's in a very public parking lot, just jerking it. Yeah. That's probably real. Oh, she definitely saw him. I hear your baby crying all the time. Oh. No, mm -hmm. no. Babies cry. I just, I mean, I get why you might be sleeping in a grocery store park. No, nah, bro. She definitely saw what you're doing. Thought I'd save you a trip. Oh. He's been watching me too. Are you flirting with me? Just walk out of this web. The spider has my child. Also. Well, he really doesn't like love anymore. <laughs> Um, bullied in script home. You asked for it. Quit saying your mom's coming back. She is. If she cared about you, would you be here? Damn. I understand. Fine. Just shut up about it, okay? I don't see why. What the rest of us are trying to deal with how no one fucking wants us? When our parents gave us up, they threw us away forever, man. Marry someone older, busy, never home while you mm. sell how is that love for you? Do you love him? Do you long for something deeper? Love's gorgeous baby boy is what? Seven months? Uh, yeah. Oh, I missed that yeah. age. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mom. Damn, it's already been seven months. Gone girl, sea biscuit. Okay, I I'm stumped. Why though? So are you gonna chase after her? Or could I maybe help you with something? And you can take that home with you. Natalie picked it up for you. Mm. You are flirting with me. Thank you. Am I interrupting your reading? No, no. Seems no, like not. I am. No, no, just come back. Come back, fuck. Come back, come back, come back, love. No, stay, Joe, stay. why? Why wouldn't you talk to me? We talk. Something's going on. You're, you're always distracted. I'm not distracted. Yeah, she knows. You know what? In fact, I'm going to take him to his grandma's. Love. No, don't don't worry about it, Joe. Enjoy the quiet. Oh, boy. All right, uh, love kind of knows something's up. She doesn't know why, but she'll figure it out pretty soon. And... She knows Joe's just off. He's pulled back. Even without Natalie being there, he probably still wouldn't be able to really embrace her. Anyways, because he doesn't actually like her anymore, but... Mm, Steph, is it? No way. No way. Hello? Hey, neighbor. What? Care for a drink? What? How did she get your number? How'd you get my number? Yeah. My husband, Matthew, works in tech. Oh. Uh. Well, that's not fucking creepy. Not at all invasive tech. Yeah, yeah. Why are you yeah. nervous? Got some kind of checkered past you're trying to hide? No, I'm not worried about me so much as... Wait, so your husband found the neighbor's number for you? He knows you're cheating. You've cheated on him before, and he knows it. All the cameras in my house. Why I spend so much time by the pool. It's the only place in this entire town I don't feel like I'm being watched. Really privacy. Matthew will see I turn them off and wonder why. Mm -hmm. Dude, she's baiting. She's making this too easy. 
She's You're baiting. A prisoner too. No, I she's guess. baiting. Maybe love wants her to test Joe. I don't know. Come with. It's too easy for a reason, so. Can often have a better time together than old. You got my book. Ah. Oh, what the hell? Do you have a first aid kit? Oh, it's in the bedroom. We got, we got, okay, never mind. Feels right. Taking care of you. You feel it too, don't you? That feeling when you're first with someone. I thought it would stay with Matthew. You think it just inevitably goes away? I think if it's right, it stays. So how long did it stay with you in love? It's hard to say. Um, no, she's. I didn't know the real her. She's collecting information for love. Feels. I got swept up. By the time I realized it was too late. People leave all the time. No. Nah. I can't leave him either. <laughs> oh, oh. Even if it means I stay in this well magazine, Twilight Zone fucking purgatory forever. Oh yeah, that sounds terrible. You want to see my reading room? Oh god. We've always slept in separate rooms. I'm an insomniac. Also, a slob. <laughs> Joe. <laughs> Joe. I'm married, but to the wrong person. What if you're the right one? Hey. Oh, oh, oh. No, husband, father, I can't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I gave you the wrong impression. I'm pretty sure you didn't. I'm just looking for a friend. Shit. No, never again. I promised myself. <sighs> they're, they're gonna fuck within the next episode. Guaranteed. I guess Joe was right about her, like, love didn't put her up to anything. That was just a guess. Mm. I was just thinking about our vows. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the ones we wrote on in and out bags on the way to the courthouse. <laughs> and that's fire. It's better than five guys. I'm not sorry. That feeling you want a bottle, turns out it can come mm. back. I was about to say, you reconnected with love. Ah, uh, you must be Joe. Finally, we meet Kerry Conrad. He's of narcissistic delusion that just the right biohack you'll live forever. It's all paleo. Well, keto, really. I find when I IF, I'm good on any amount of fats. Jesus Christ. IF? Intermittent fasting. Yeah, I knew that was what he was talking about. I actually do it. I actually do that, which is kind of funny. But the thing he said about fasting allows him to eat as many fats as he want. That's wrong. That That's wrong. That is not true. That, that's not how it works. Natalie and Matthew Engler. Oh, oh, she looks amazing. She is a bad person. Well, of course, we're far too feminist to ever say a woman stole a man. Yeah. She's nice enough. Great realtor, yeah. you know, a cheater. OK, OK. She's known to be a cheater. And now love knows that. So she's like, oh, she's going to try and fuck Joe. And so, okay, that's why it was too easy for Joe in the first place. Natalie's known for that. And now Love kind of has an idea of Natalie, that she's a known cheater, so she could try and fuck Joe. And she's going to see them talking, knowing that she's a known cheater. And it's, it's not going to go great. Ever sat in a virtual reality pod? Gosh, it's insane. Not even just for porn, but also the porn is spectacular. <laughs> Get help. A crackhead. Got himself killed. Ooh. Is oh. Oh. Money just papers over that oh. garbage. Oh, I'm dumping. I'm throwing my wine in her face. Are you kidding me? Where the rest of us actually work for what we have. May I state the obvious? Sherry Conrad is a terrible person. I believe who that. runs this town? So. Now Natalie's gonna get on Love's good side. To make Natalie seem like she's not a threat. So Love doesn't have to worry about Natalie trying to fuck Joe. Because she sees Nile as a friend. Or she's going to cross and try and fuck him. Look, they hate me. I think I stole Matthew from their friend, who, by the way, was cheating first. But So do what I do. Get her to respect you. Authenticity scares the shit out of her. <sighs> so, if not submission, at least basic fake friendship. OK, great. One problem. I don't really know who I am these days. Just do what feels natural. Whatever feels natural. Well, don't. Okay, well, and that's bad advice for love, actually. Cause don't kill anyone, but like... I guess there's some things I need to figure out. But I have this fantasy of opening a bakery. Your parents have the money to make that happen. You know what? 
There's a space available that might be perfect. Mm. It's really nice to have an actual conversation. Mm -hmm. I can't believe we've been living next door for months. Joe's seen more of you than I have. Not really. I keep telling Matthew, I'd love to have you both over for a drink sometime. It's crazy we haven't had either of you at the house yet. We'll do it soon. Yeah, love knows. Love knows, bro. Is that I have been doing everything for this family and you've been too busy fucking the neighbor to notice. Mm. What? She, she started acting a little crazy. I left. And then he came home and finally fucked me for the first time in six months. Don't give me that. I know you. There's nothing simple about it when somebody gets stuck in your mind. I don't even care if you fucked her. It sounds like you care. Are you obsessed with her? It's not like that. Really? Yeah. You sure? I'm sure. Because it was like that with you, love. I I married you. The man I fell in love with would do anything for the ones he loved. I mm -hmm. still would. I, I, for the baby. He was supposed to be a girl. Mm. Fucking bad. I don't yeah. know it, I don't, it doesn't. <laughs> It just feels so emblematic of getting it wrong, of feeling like uh, I am gonna fuck him up, like he, like he knows. He looks at me like I'm a monster. He wants a girl because Joe's a guy and he thinks he's gonna fuck. Yeah, okay. You remember what Forty said five seconds before he died? That I'd be crazy if I ever thought I could be a good mother. Well, he was out of his mind. Maybe he wasn't. He wasn't. He was completely sober. There's still time to bond with him, you know. For starters, try reading him something other than Fitzgerald. <laughs> yeah, try try some Dr. Seuss. <laughs> Start with green eggs and ham, and then work your way up to Fitzgerald. Happily ever after looks a lot different than I thought. <laughs> she knew. How did she know to look right there right away? All I've ever wanted. So I'm gonna make this work. No matter what it takes. No, no you're not. Goodbye, you. Did Joe put her underwear in this box, maybe? Love's gonna find it? No. Ah, oh, it's our cooking stuff. Yeah, I wanted to see that, uh, that place you were talking about for a bake. I could not think of a story to tell Frog. Oh, Toad and Frog? I loved these books when I was a kid. Frog and Toad? I think it was called Frog and Toad. I don't know. I'm trying. I want to do this right. Forty. Henry. Mm -hmm. Henry. Henry. So wait, you don't hate me? Yeah. Well, same here. Hmm. Watch Love just kill Natalie in here. Watch. Would not be shocked at all. Since everything's closed off, no one would see it. Except landlord has another offer. But he loves me, so sign a three-year lease today and you're golden. Can I, can I see downstairs? Hmm. Yeah. Let's go. Hmm. Yeah, look at look at her face. Look at her eyes right there. Ooh, what the hell? What happened there? Oh, is that where Joe's hiding his shit? Like the underwear? Yeah, it has to be. And so she finds it and then she kills Natalie. Let me show you the oh other storage room. She looks sinister. Damn. Oh, wow, well, his damn his hand. Oh, she definitely saw that, yeah. She definitely saw it in his hand. Her coffee thing? <laughs> what? Place could be a raging success. So, what do you think? She did it, she did it, yep. Damn, I didn't think she'd do it this quick. I thought this would happen later in the season, not episode one. That's wrong. I think we need to go to couples therapy. Mm. Ah, yeah. oh, yep, she dead. Well, what the fuck is this season gonna be about then? <laughs> Loving memory of Mark Blum. Damn, R.I.P. Mark. All right, well, shit. Okay, so I was technically right about what happens in the season, except what I guessed all happened in this one episode. Okay, yeah, I guess it was too predictable. So they had the let us think we know what's going on and then just crush that completely. Be like, nope, you have no idea, actually. Okay, okay. Good move by the writers. Good move. So Sherry's going to play a bigger role in it than I thought, probably. I'm guessing her character is going to be like Henderson. You know, we're going to find some dirt on her, find out she's not a good person, whatever. You know, like we can already kind of assume she's not a good person by what she's, by all the shit she's talking behind Love's back and everything. But nothing's been proven yet. Nothing's been proven like it was proven for Hendy. It was more of just her just being a bitch and talking shit. That's kind of it. But still insanely 
insensitive, but damn, I thought Natalie was gonna be like the entire plot of the season. Like, no, but no. Okay. Well, now they gotta work to cover this up too, because it, cause like, well, he, her husband's gonna be fucking concerned that she's not replying and he's a tech guy. So, I mean, the show has like made up some bullshit to where the spy software he put on Ellie's phone, like her husband's probably gonna pull some shit like that out, put spy software on like Joe's phone or I don't know, some shit like that. Even though I'm pretty sure some shit like that doesn't exist. It does in the show, so. Her husband's gonna pull some bullshit out. I already know it, <laughs> but. And it's gonna be funny when it happens. But yeah, I mean, I guess there's like no one to get in the way of Joe's relationship with love now. Cause that was supposed to be Natalie and now she's gone. So unless Joe finds a new girl. But yeah, I'm guessing Joe can't connect with um with Henry because, well, okay. What I first guessed was maybe it's not his kid. Maybe it's not actually his. There was a third dude that love never mentioned in season two. I doubt it, but I wouldn't be shocked. Could happen. And Joe just like subconsciously can feel that this baby is not his and the baby knows that he is not the dad i don't know or maybe just because joe doesn't want to let the kid down and lead him down a dark path like he went down you know and so maybe he's too worried about that that's and i'm pretty sure that's why he was really hoping for a girl because he didn't want the baby to turn out like him or anything but okay and the fact that he was so convinced the baby was already a girl it's just like it's off-putting to him that it wasn't like he was already mentally prepared to have a girl and then it's a boy so he's like ah oh, fuck I don't know. Just a guess. Okay, when does Joe get the beard, though? That's what I want to know. I see all these thumbnails on Netflix of him with a beard, and, like, kind of can't wait till that, that comes in, you know? That might be next season, but... But, yeah, and then Joe has to reconnect with love, fall in love with her again, I guess, because he was so turned off by the fact that she's a killer not who she thought he was because he thought she was this perfect girl but no she's a lot like him and that turns him off so wow what a shocker bring that spark back but her killing natalie right there is not gonna bring them closer together it's just gonna probably push him even further away from her i don't know but that was you season three episode one comment down below what you thought about this episode down below in the comments and if you like the video like the video and thanks for watching